Hey y'all, I'm Sandy. Welcome to Sandy Hearts Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Sunday, August the 4th, 2024, and it is 106 degrees. Wow, that's what my car says. I kind of believe it too. It's quite warm out there. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I am at work today for another hour and I wanted to jump on real quick and show you what I was doing today. Today is the fourth day, uh, vloggers, day four and oh my goodness, 88 days to Halloween. Is that correct? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I don't remember. Anyway, I am back to one of my Halloween projects, and I would have finished it last night, except that um, I could not find my polyfill, and uh, because I have to hide it from my dog, because she eats it. She doesn't really eat it. She just likes throwing the bag around and tearing it up. Apparently, um, she probably eats some of it, but I don't. I don't check the output for things unless it becomes makes her sick or something anyway enough about all that <laughs> so how are y'all doing today it has gotten a little bit steamy here again um this is the first time i've come out since i came into work this morning so um yeah there's quite a difference it felt really good this morning when i was out walking dog and um then i'll get off a little bit earlier than usual i'll be off at six so uh and i started to tell you last night about my um uh, 40th uh, year high school reunion that happened last night. I didn't get to go because I worked until whatever time. I think I finally got out of here about five o'clock yesterday. And then, but I mean, I really just couldn't afford it. A couple of the ladies that paid, offered to pay for my ticket and everything, but I just really um, didn't see being able, I didn't, I knew I wouldn't feel like it by the time I got off work and got had to go home and rechange and shower and everything and get there. I probably would have just sat down when I got home, so I didn't want to waste anybody's money. Um, but I, the pictures look beautiful. Everybody looks wonderful. Um, it was, I don't know if it was a small turnout or not, I'm not, but 40th year high school reunion. I'm just still, that just still blows me away for some reason. I don't know. I'm still a couple of years away from 60, so maybe when I hit 60, I'll probably just lay down. I don't know what I I don't know what I'll do at that point. Um, so anyway, I was watching a few videos trying to get some idea of some Halloween projects and I have gotten a few ideas, um, but we still have vloggers to go to. So we may try to throw some summertime things in there before. Um, so what are you working on? Are you working on Halloween stuff? Or uh, still working on summer stuff? Or you already started on Christmas or what? Let me know down in the comments uh, what you're working on. And what I, tried to finish last night. Like I said, I couldn't find my uh, polyfill until this morning, like as I was getting ready for work. Um, I have now finished my the body of my Hocus the Witch Frog by Ella of No Catchy Name. Let's see if I can do my front, show my front page without showing her pattern. And I have linked the, I have linked, uh, Put her link below so you can get your own copy and make your own. And it's so cute. So I've got to do uh, the eyes and the feet. Well, I've got the body and the hat, which is the biggest part. So I may be able to finish it tonight. If I had uh, found my polyfill last night, I would have uh, finished it last night. So I used every bit of what I had left. So if I make anything else, I'll have to go buy some. But anyway, so here's the body. And I mean, I had gotten to here and realized I couldn't find my polyfill, so um, I finished the body. It is still attached, just because I don't think I have my good scissors with me, maybe. Um, so there's the body. And then this is the uh, ugh, Karen One Pound in Limeade. And that thing's huge. That's why I like buying these and the large crafter secret uh, crap. Uh, the big, huge ones at Hobby Lobby whenever they go on sale uh, because there's just so much yarn in them and, and it just keeps going and going. Now, I need to find me a, a Trek pattern. I hadn't found one exactly that I like as far as the horns go, um, but this is a color I'd probably use for Shrek or Frankenstein or something like that. But anyway, so there's the body. 
And then last night I also finished the hat. So there it is. And then it just got to get the eyes and the mouth and the feet. And uh, I think he's got some spots on his face. Yeah, like frog warts. So yeah, it's gonna be cute. And this is, um, what is the Michael? No, no, no. Yeah, Michael's, um, is it Craft Smart? Shoot. I can't remember. I wanna say Craft Smart. It's another budget brand from a local store. And I can't remember if it's Michael's or Joann's because I got it out of the clearance rack. And this is called, this color is Toasted Almond. So I, I do like it better in the brown. Uh, just because, like I said, most witch hats um, are black. So I just thought I'd make it a little different. So yeah, there's that. And that's what I have worked on today and last night. Um, I did watch Hotel Transylvania last night. It is free on Tubi. Um, and I know people, well, everybody that works here knows that I crochet, but when they uh, come out of their cars and they see these things, uh, I had my frog in a tote for some reason. I don't know really why I started that, but it may have just been whatever I could grab as I started on it. So Hocus, I'm hoping he'll, he'll be finished here in the next day or two and get that done. Like I said, if I do any more amigurumis, I'm gonna have to have some more stuff. Um, but that's a good pattern and it's easy to understand and, and um, everything, uh, Ella makes it so clear, the instructions. Um, so I'll put her link below and go and support her by purchasing that if you'd like to. And I believe that's all for today. Um, like I said, I did watch Hotel Transylvania last night. It was so cute. It was the first one, and it was so cute. Um, of course, there was something in there that made me cry, and something about, he was my zing, or something like that. It was so, uh, every movie, I don't care what kind it is. There's something in there that's going to make me cry every time. Um, and tonight, I think I said I was going to watch Ghost Rider. Um, it's also free on Tubi. And um, I love Nicolas Cage, so that should be a good one. I've seen it when it first came out and many times since then, but it's going to be a good one. And it might start our Halloween uh, movie watching. It's very bright out here, so if I'm squinting, I can't really tell. I see where the sun shines right here. Um, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm about to get ready to go back to work. And I don't have to work but about another hour, but it's been so busy that we've just... Um, it's been that busy that we haven't been able to take lunches till, till pretty late today. But that's okay by me, because I go back in, I only have an hour left, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and then I'll go home and turn on the air conditioner and lay up with my dog for a while. Um, I do still need to finish one round of that um, Hexacardi, but we'll see if I actually do that. It's still, like I said, 100 degrees here or better. Um, so Vanessa's in no hurry for it, but she is excited to get it. So. I'm gonna try to do that. If not, I'll probably finish it while I'm at Renee's next week. Um, so I hope y'all are having a good day and um, let me know what you're working on below. If you can think of anything cute that I might work on for Halloween project, let me know. Um, I do have a few ideas, but I'm still working on it. It's still a little early for me. <laughs> and I'm seeing all the pretty yarn, oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all have a good day and I will see you tomorrow and Hope y'all are uh, staying cool wherever you are. Love y'all. Bye.